Hey guys, I hope you're well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna talk about intermittent fasting and the ketogenic diet. Now when you're following a keto diet, your hunger levels are going to decrease and that's gonna make it a lot more easier for you to reduce your meal frequency. Now fasting has been shown to have many health benefits such as increasing fat loss, reducing inflammation and also increasing ketone production. Now there's many different variations of fasting. One is simply skipping breakfast all the way through to not eating for a full 24 hours. So let's discuss the different options and see if we can find something that's gonna work for you. Now the easiest method of intermittent fasting is the 12 hour fast. Now this can be as simple as eating your last meal at 7.30 p.m. and then eating your next meal for breakfast at 7.30 a.m. Now this is going to require a little bit of discipline as it's really easy to snack when we settle down for the night. But if you are thinking of trying intermittent fasting, then this should be your first step. Now the next step is the 16 hour fast and this will usually result in skipping breakfast. So let's say you eat your last meal at 8 p.m. You're not going to eat again until 12 p.m. lunchtime the following day. Now with this method of fasting, I get a lot of questions about can I have a creamy coffee for breakfast and will that break my fast? Now unfortunately guys, the answer is yes. As soon as you consume any calories, you are no longer in a fasted state. And that's because your body is no longer gonna tap into your body fat reserve to produce ketones. It's going to use the cream to, perform, to produce ketones instead. So if you need the caffeine kick in the morning, you can have a couple of black coffees and make sure that you're drinking plenty of water to stay hydrated. The answer is guys, as soon as you consume any calories, you are going to break your fast. Now the next step up the intermittent fasting ladder is the one meal a day kind of fasting or the OMAD fasting. Now this is where you would simply eat one meal a day and then fast for the full 24 hours. Now with this kind of fasting guys, it's really important to track the macros in the meal because it can be really, really easy to go over on the protein, over on the carbs and under on the fat. So make sure 70 to 75% of the calories in the meal are coming from fat, 20 to 25% of the calories come from protein and only 5% of the calories in the big meal come from carbohydrates. And finally, the most hardcore version of fasting is the alternate day fast. So for example, on a Monday, you'd eat, you'd eat like a keto king or queen, and then on Tuesday, you wouldn't consume any calories whatsoever. Now, this is obviously going to take a lot of discipline, so I'd certainly recommend starting one of the other kinds of fasting, but if you wanna jump straight into alternate day fasting, then go for it. Now, what I do, guys, personally, I do like a modified version of the 12-hour fast, but instead of skipping breakfast, I'll skip lunch. So I'll wake up, say, 6 a.m., do a home body workout, so some press-ups and some sit-ups, and then I'll have breakfast around 6.30 a.m., so that'll usually be a spinach omelette with some cheese and a creamy coffee. Then I'll go to work, and I won't consume any calories at all while I'm at work. Now, my job is pretty sedentary, so I'm sat down most of the day, so I don't really need the food. You know, I'm getting into a deeper state of ketosis. My body's using the body fat to produce the ketones. I'm not getting hungry whatsoever. I'm saving time every night because I've not got to prep my lunch. And then what I'll do, I'll finish work around 4.30, then I'll go to the gym. I'll do an hour in the gym, I'll come back and then I'll have my main meal, say 6, 6.30 p.m. So I'm eating my calories around the times that I'm most active. I don't need the calories while I'm sat down at work. I'm eating when my body needs the calories. So guys, please leave in the comments below if you've been successful or what kind of fasting that you follow. Uh, please follow us on the other social media links and the other channels. I'll leave them in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Keep it keto and I'll see you soon.